Hi beautiful people, how are you guys doing? I hope you're well and I hope you're good. Thank you, thank you so much for tuning back into my channel again today. I hey there, welcome to Faith Life with Amaka. I am so, so excited to welcome you back to the Extraordinary Mind series. Extraordinary Mind series. Where are my Extraordinary Minds out there? Hit me up in the comment section if you are an Extraordinary Mind or you are ready to do extraordinary things, extraordinary things in your world, then this video is for you. This video is for you. <laughs> yes, or you want to know how to possess an extraordinary mind. Hey, in our current world, all that will be needed, what you will need to thrive, to stay above the waters, to keep your head above the waters, would be an extraordinary mind. And I believe this is why the Holy Spirit placed it in my heart to write this book as a tool for his children. Listen guys, I never imagined, I never thought, I never planned it. It wasn't part of the strategy. It wasn't part of my life's plan. <laughs> to be an author, to write a book, and to write about an extraordinary mind. No, it wasn't part of the plan at all. It's something that God has placed in my heart. He placed it in my heart. And as I'm speaking to you right now, I'm an author of three books. Tell me three years ago that I would be an author. I'll probably be looking at you like, hello. <gasps> Wrong girl. But these are the things that God can do when we yield our lives to him. I think this is a word for somebody. When you yield your, your life to, to, to God, it's really true what the word says. That he can do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can think or imagine. It's not just monetary. It's not just in physical things. It can be changes in our mindset. In today's video, this is the Extraordinary Mind series. And I want to encourage you to go back onto the playlist, the Extraordinary Mind playlist, and catch up on all the other topics that we've looked at. So the book is based on 12 pillars that we can wrap our, our lives around. And it's 12 pillars because you've got a pillar for each month of the year. So this book will, will you know, guide you through a whole year, keeping you centered and keeping you inspired and undefeated every single day of the year, just like it says in the cover. That's exactly what this book is going to do for you. Um, so we've looked at a couple of the other pillars, you know, we've, we've had how many series already? One, two, three, four. We've had four episodes on the series and we're on our fifth episode and the topic for this episode is personal development oh my world this is just so powerful like and all i do in this in this series is just basically to go into the pillar that we're looking at and i'm just gonna read any of the quotes in the book that just jump out at me live and we're just gonna talk about it i'm just gonna share my initial thoughts what the holy spirit places in my heart for that quote for you that's what i do here so you, you're getting an, an insight you're getting you know a little bite into the book but i really encourage you to get a copy for yourself it's really gonna bless you i didn't write it the holy spirit inspired me and inspired every word here to write this book i'm not qualified you know but the holy spirit qualifies us because all wisdom comes from him he's the author of wisdom he says if you lack wisdom ask why? Because he is the author. He's the bank of wisdom. And he's given me the wisdom to write this book. And I believe it's going to bless you. Okay. So in the last episode, we looked at resilient belief. If you haven't caught it, go catch that video. It's going to bless you because resilient belief ooh, is something that is going to keep you lay hold of everything that actually belongs to you um so go grab that video it's going to bless you and today we're looking at personal development wow who is ready if you're ready type in the comment section i'm ready for this episode and i'm ready for the next episode type it in the comment section okay so let's head to personal development i'm gonna read out 10 quotes that jump out at me 
and we'll take it from there. Okay, so quote number one that I'm going to read out to boss. I'm just going to head to quote number two in the book. So we're reading personal development, okay? Personal development. Quote number two says, the world needs you. Yes, you. Inside of you are treasures yet to be unlocked. Wow, personal development. That's the pillar we're looking at. Did you just hear that? The world needs you. Yes, you. Inside of you are treasures yet to be unlocked. That already speaks into what I shared earlier in the video that I didn't even think that a book was in me. But that is a testament actually to this quote. There is a lot in you. There is treasures in you that God is just so eager to unlock. And all you need to do is yield to him who is already blessed. Amen. Right, I'm just going to turn the page because I'm going to be tempted to read all the quotes, okay? So quote number two for today's video, I'm going to read quote number five from the book. And it says, every day is an opportunity to learn. Take it now. Woo, every day is an opportunity to learn. Take it now. This is amazing. There is something out there for you to grab every day. The same way God's mercies are new every morning. God's blessings are new every morning. God's grace is new every morning. And God's blessings are new every morning. So take it. Open your eyes. Pray to God. The prayer that you can pray every morning is to ask God to open your eyes. To see to know what he wants you to do and you need to take that action now no procrastination take the opportunity now what you need to do do that now because the opportunity the window is open and the window is not going to be open forever <laughs> amen so quote number three that i'm going to read is quote number six from the book it's just amazing it's just jumping i just saw never and i'm like i gotta read what that never is okay so quote number three for today's video is never allow your fears put you in a box wow wow it's simple it's straight to the point never allow your fears put you into a box you know a wise man said that fear actually stands for false evidence appearing real so if you allow if you allow something that is not even real put you in a box stop you hinder you you're not going to get to what is yours you're not going to get to what belongs to you and that is a lie from the pit of hell you will get to everything that belongs to you and you're not going to allow anything you're going to god has not given you the spirit of fear but of power love and sound mind that is the mindset that you the only mindset you're allowed to to um have is the mindset of power, love, and sound mind. So no fear will put you in a box in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ooh, quote number four. We're just going down like, they're just so good. Quote number four for this video, I'm going to read quote number seven. So we read five, six, and now quote number seven from the book. And it says, get comfortable being uncomfortable. <laughs> wow. Right, get if you want to personally develop yourself, that's going to come from a place of being uncomfortable. Nothing comes from a place of comfortability, if that's even a word. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. Someone, for someone, you need to give yourself the gift of being uncomfortable. <laughs> is that blessing you? You need to give yourself because it is in that place... Jesus, the son of God, he did not even get the crown without being uncomfortable. And he's, he, at some point he cried out. He was like, God, look at the, 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 the men that have changed, the men and women that have changed the world. They had to be uncomfortable. Look at Nelson Mandela, he was imprisoned. That is far from being comfortable. Look at the men in the Bible, look at Joseph. Joseph was also imprisoned. You know, you have to get comfortable being uncomfortable to make a mark. A mark will not be gifted. We have to be comfortable being uncomfortable. You know, it could be as simple as, you know, sharing your faith to somebody. That's That can be uncomfortable to do. But we have to get comfortable being uncomfortable to actually make a mark, to live a life that is worthy of our calling, a life that glorifies God. You know, your environment might not be comfortable for the life of God that you want to live, but you have to get comfortable being uncomfortable. Amen to pursue everything that is yours. Hallelujah. Quote number five for today's video. I am going to leave that page, right? Because if not, I'm just going to go down, down, down. And um, we only have 10 quotes uh, per video. So, quote number five, I'm going to go to quote number 11. I just saw stop 
and I gotta read what I gotta stop, okay? And I wanna share that with all of you. So quote number five for today's video is quote number 11 from the book. If you have the book, please, in this series, open up yours. Let's have a book club. Join us. Let's read it together, okay? If you have the book already, please leave comments in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. That's great. And if you can, I want to see you pick, tag me. If you're following me on Instagram, tag me. I want to repost them and just spread the word of God. Spread the kingdom. Spread the kingdom of God and let it be known because it really truly deserves to be known. It's an answer. It's a solution to the world that so desperately needs it, okay? Um, yes, so quote number five for today's video is quote number 11 from the book and it says, stop giving life to your pains and struggles, but instead speak into the change you want to see. Hello, is somebody there? <laughs> I Wow, right, when I tell you that I didn't write this book, or like this book, there is no way you can finish reading the, this book and your life will remain the same. I guarantee you, there is no way you can read this book that the Holy Spirit has breathed into and your life remains the same. Mm -mm. No way. Stop giving life to your pains. Like this can be dissected. It can be a whole session of discussion, you know. Stop giving life. Practically, there are many ways that we give life to our pains and struggles. But instead, what we need to do is to speak into the change that we want to see. You know, the more we speak and give life and reminisce and meditate. You know, the Bible even tells us what to meditate on. Never mind what we speak out. Part of the life and death is in the power of our talk. What are you speaking? What are you meditating? Is it anything? Philippians 4 eight tells us what to think on. If anything is... Excellent. If anything is praiseworthy, if anything is pure, your pains, your struggles, what has hurt you, anything negative is not pure. It's not what we ought to be thinking. It's whatever is praiseworthy. Hallelujah. Like this can be unpacked in so many ways and I pray that it blesses you. Speak into the change you want to see. Don't give life to your pains, to your struggles to the things that you've gone through, to things that have hurt you in the past. You know, the Bible says laying down every weight, you know, and reaching out, reaching forward to what is ahead. You know, that is God's plan. That is what God wants us to do as children of God. Wow. Quote number six of today's video, I'm going to jump to quote number 13 in the book. And it says, waiting for everyone's approval is another definition of time wasting. Hey, personal development. This is what we're looking at. Waiting for everyone's approval is another definition of time wasting because that is not going to happen. Everybody's not going to applaud you. Everybody's not going to approve you. Like, who do you think you are that everybody should approve you? Who do you think you are that everybody should applaud you? Even expecting that is a sign of pride. Who are you? You're wasting time, you know, because that's not going to happen. If it didn't happen for Jesus, you're not holier than Jesus. This is what I said, it's a, it is, is a, an aspect of pride. Are you holier than God? Jesus was not approved. He wasn't applauded. It's a definition of time wasting. If God has given you the dream, if God has given you the vision, don't wait for everybody's approval. Don't even wait for when you feel that is right. God that has given it to you is not even yours. So if you're not attaching it to you when you feel it's right or when somebody has, a, you've taken it away from the one who has given it to you. Run with it. Don't waste time. Don't wait for everyone's approval. Who is this blessing? Is already even blessing me as I'm sharing it. Hallelujah. Quote number seven for today's video. I'm going to read quote number 15 because I just saw colorful and that's just beautiful to me. So quote number seven for today's video is, life is colorful and meaningful when there is something driving you, when you've discovered your passion and your purpose. This is part of personal development, discovering your passion, your purpose, your driving force, what drives you, what motivates you. You need to discover that. You need to dig down and discover that. That, in fact, that is the greatest 
development a person can make to discover the purpose the reason why they are on earth and i pray that god will help you to discover that in jesus name amen quote number eight for today's video i'm flipping over we are gonna go to quote number 17 in the book quote number eight for today's video and it says make simple make no excuses for your growth this is amazing like this is a make, make no excuses for growth. Why this is, this, right, if this is the only quote that you take out from this episode, in fact, you will run and you will run with an extraordinary mind. There are many, plenty, if we're looking for excuses, we'll find plenty. But an extraordinary mind does not make excuses for their growth. You go for it, whether it's comfortable, whether it's not comfortable, whether it's the majority's, um, whether it's approved, whether you're applauded, make no excuses for your personal development, for your growth. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you will have the stamina, the wherewithal, the, the courage to move forward, to develop yourself, to grow without making excuses. Amen. Quote number nine. Oh my gosh, we're nearly there. Wow, let me jump, let me jump. Oh, I saw everyone is bound. Um, I wanna know what everyone is bound, right? So quote number nine, I'm gonna read quote number 23 from the book and it says, everyone is bound to fail once, twice or more in life. So fail fast so you can succeed in time to enjoy the fruits of your success. Do we even need to talk more on that quote? That, oh my word, this is actually a very beautiful quote. Like, I think this is my favorite for this pillar. Wow, I am just lost. This is so beautiful. Quote number nine, and it is quote number 23, right here. Quote number 23 in the book. And it says, everyone is bound to fail once, twice, or more in life because failure is a big thing it's something that stops us it's stop it's something that messes with that extraordinary mind and god wants to tackle that so i'm just going to read the quote again everyone is bound to fail once twice or more in life so fail fast so you can succeed in time to enjoy the fruits of your success hey man i'm not even that is another quote that can be unpacked in so many different ways, but I just hope that is blessing someone. So the final quote for today's video, I'm going to turn over the pages. Oh, and I'm going to read the actual last quote in the book for this pillar, which is quote number 31. And the final quote for today's video, which is, the next miracle is you walk in it. Did you just hear that? The next miracle is you. Walk in it. Like, the quotes in this pillar is just one of those quotes that you just share it, like, it just shuts you up. Like, say no more. Like, it's you, it's you, it's you, it's you. There's treasures. Oh my God, you've not even tapped to, you know, in the science, in the science world, right? Who, who is the smartest man in the world? Is it Einstein? Apparently, Einstein, who is a genius in our world, right? It was discovered that he only used not point, not, 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 not one, or something so ridiculous like that, of his brain, his brain capacity. This is a genius. This is who we call a genius. That is a, you know, that is a snippet. That is a snippet of what our capabilities are do you know who created you he can do exceedingly and he says greater works your capabilities and abilities are unmatched they are uncapped you are limitless we are limitless you know the way we see the oceans you know if you've ever flown across the an ocean you know it just seems like unending oh your potentials are unending the next miracle is you walk in it i just hope this episode has blessed you if it has leave comments in the comment section i am i am blessed and i'll be leaving a comment like share and subscribe and i just can't wait to see you 
in the next episode of the Extraordinary Mind series. Stay blessed, beautifuls. Thank <laughs> you.